Mac, thank you so much for today's focus. We're talking with the United Way, the Brazos Valley, because some of you may be hearing about this at work. You may be asked to donate. So Allison Prince with the United Way here to tell us more about what happens with that money. So if I'm at work and I'm being asked by my boss, I've had this happen several times, donate to the United Way. Absolutely. Allison, thanks for joining us. No problem. Where does that money go and who does that money help? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we do our community campaign each fall and that's what's happening right now. We're coming to the close of the campaign and that money is raised here in the community through lots of different companies and individuals that make contributions to United Way, and it stays right here in the Brazos Valley. We use those funds to invest in our community to build a stronger community, and we do it in two ways. We provide programmatic grants to nonprofit organizations. Currently, we work with about 20 partners, um, different organizations that have gone through an application process and are, being, are able to document measurable results in the areas of education, financial stability, and health. I like to think of it because the last time that I worked with the United Way, this was in Oklahoma, and we'll talk about that, how they may mm -hmm. differ from community to community. But I, I was told that the United Way is almost like an air traffic controller. So if I'm giving and I'm donating to the United Way here, mm -hmm. you're then assigning those dollars to different nonprofit organizations that all go back and give back to different areas of our community. Exactly. So while United Way doesn't work directly with individuals receiving services, we um, are the convener. We collect the, the funds throughout the community. We convene um, groups to look at community needs. What are the top pressing needs in our community? And how do we need to invest to create change in those areas? And who are the partners that we need to collaborate with? So when those funds are being raised, uh, Staff at United Way do not make the decisions on how those funds are invested. The community comes together to raise those funds. The community comes together to invest those funds as well. So we have a grant process that happens every couple years. It's actually going on right now um, where we're using about 30 volunteers to assess the applications, to go out and do site visits, learn more about these organizations, and then make funding recommendations to our board of directors on how those funds should be invested here, right here in the Brazos Valley. So that's all through our community impact grants program. Then we also do some investing around some collaborative programs such as 211 Texas, our youth leadership cabinet program, volunteer Brazos Valley, as well as a few other things. There's so many different groups and so many different nonprofits that can benefit from the money that's going to the United Way exactly. and then being funneled out to these different um, groups. Let me ask you this, because coming from Oklahoma uh, before moving here, we did some work with the United Way and it worked one way. Is it any different, because I know United Way is everywhere, is it any different from there to the Brazos Valley? To the Houston area to New Orleans? It absolutely could be different. So we're all United Way. So what that means is we're all part and we're all members of United Way worldwide. Uh, we pay membership dues. That's the only part of the funds that are raised here that would ever leave the community, but we're all completely individual organizations. Over 1,800 organizations, individual United Ways across the country. We all work together in various different ways, but we're all completely independent. And the beautiful thing about that is that we get to have a wonderful national brand recognition like United Way, but we get to take the wonderful research that's done at the national level, take best practices that are working in other communities, and then tailor that to what our community needs. What works in Bryan College Station in the Brazos Valley region is not going to be the same in Houston or in Oklahoma City, just based on different needs of the communities and different demographics and things like that. So we take what works, what hasn't worked other places, and we look at what's best for our community. And we don't do that alone. It's all about collaborations and working together, listening to business partners, listening to individuals, listening to uh, stakeholders, various different co communities come together to say this is how funds should be invested. We've got about a minute left. Your 2016 community campaign is about 70% there. You're looking mm -hmm. to get to $800,000. Yeah. Why do you do this? Why is it this? Why is this such an important um, mission for you personally? You know, for me, it's it's about serving my community. I I started off after college in a career that was just a typical career, and I just felt like you know what, I have something more to give. Um, I believe strongly that if if I'm going to work, if I'm going to put my heart and soul into it, as I do in a lot of things that I do, um, I want it to make a difference. I want it to improve the community. So I believe strongly in what United Way does. I believe that it's about bringing the community together to make it a better place. And it takes a community to do that. No one person can fix it. No one person can fund it. It takes all of us working together. That's the sound bite to end on. We'll yeah, do that right there. And listen, you don't have to um, go through your work or your work campaign to do this. You can give individual donations, even if your um, work isn't doing it, or if they're not get your employer on board Absolutely. with it, go to uwbv.org. We'll put that online connected Wonderful. to this interview so that way everybody get to it. Allison Prince, thanks so Thank much for coming Thank you so in. much. United Way of the Brass Valley. Coming up, we've got our house call, treat of the day.